Hey everyone and welcome to episode number six of the Visto vlog where Andreas and I are talking about his Canadian journey. Andreas, thanks very much for joining us once again. How's it going? This is going well. Thank you, Josh. Andreas, why, why, why are you wearing that hat right now? <laughs> because I'm in Canada right away. <laughs> I have one month, one week uh, when I arrive here to the country. I'm very happy. I'm very excited. Uh, we are, you can see I'm settled. Mm -hmm. This is, can you see, this is the new apartment I get. This is my wife. <laughs> Wave, Monica. <laughs> awesome, and we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna dive deeper into all that. Obviously, it's been a it's been a little about a month, I think, since the last episode. But it's obviously yes. been a busy month, right? So uh, yes, we'll, definitely. We'll we'll talk about why. So the, the, I think the two major topics we wanted to talk about on this episode. Number one was the day of the trip itself. So actually flying to uh, Canada, to Toronto, and clearing customs with the Kuzma application. We'll talk about that. And then we'll talk about uh, everything you've done since to kind of settle in, find the apartment, get your bank account set up, all, all that good stuff. Yes. So wh why don't we start with the travel? So what it was what, May, it was end of May, right? Was May 24th? 24? Yeah. No, 20. March, March 23. March. Okay? Yes, in March. All right, yeah, it's uh, April now. <laughs> yes. Or no, it's May we 2nd. Fly, uh, we fly uh, at noon, more or less, okay? The fly goes to to the Mexican city, which is the, 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 the center of the country of Mexico. We fly there, okay? And then we take another flight from Mex Ciudad de Mexico, Mexico City, to Toronto. Obviously, we don't pass uh, United States. And that is one, one reason, because right now for the COVID problems and everything go to Spain, that, uh, we don't have visa, tourist visa for, pa for passing to the United States. It's something very important. To pass to the United States, you, have to, you need to have an, a visa. Can be a, a, a tourist visa, can be only a passing away visa. There is an option, but by the by the by the way, um, the United States visas are delayed one year. When I when I pick up an, a, an appointment to get an, a visa for the United States, it sends me to the next year that appointment. So wow. myself and my family, we don't have visa for the United States, so we have to fly directly to the to the to, to Toronto. Okay, we arrive um, uh, to Pearson. Uh, we start flying from the noon, and remember their difference of, of in that time in the two hours in Mexico. So when you fly, when you arrive, you are the, you are advantage two hours of, of the flight. So we arrived to Toronto in a, in Pearson Airport at more like midnight, okay? They are completely the last uh, fly arriving to Toronto person that day, okay? And well, you arrive to the airport and when you leave the airplane, okay? And you start walking uh, in, in the path, the first place you found is an a kiosk, uh, an a kiosk with a screen, okay? When I arrived, it, it was very funny because there are no 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 uh, signals. There are no uh, no signs or anything. No signs exactly. What is that? When I come, when I go to the kiosk and I see they're asking for passport. They are asking for what you what you're bringing. This is the face in the kiosk where you have to declare what you're what you're bringing to the country. If you are bringing tobacco, if you are bringing cigarettes, if you are bringing uh, meat, you are bringing alcohol, everything is will be asking in that screen, automatically, uh, digitalize completely everything. You put your 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 passport in there, okay? You uh, slide it, slide in, 
and there's scan your passport. I have to scan uh, the passport of my family in, in, in that way. Everything was recorded. Uh, you have to select the status of the of the of the flight. In my case, it was an award permit. Uh, my wife was a work permit. My child's, my kids was for study permits. And you have to declare, I don't have guns. <laughs> I, we don't have knives. We don't have, do you record uh, alcohol? And there's an, a big screen calling uh, more than two liters of lit, liters of, of, of alcohol. I bring I bring an alcohol, I bring tequila, Josh. <laughs> uh, for, uh, but it, uh, everything goes well, no? I know of over, uh, over, I know of overflow the, 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 the things, no? Mm -hmm. That's the, the, the first stand. Then we pass with the, with the first uh, agent of migration, okay? The first agent of migration, look at your, your, well, the machine, the kiosk, print and a, a paper, no? And the paper is the resume or, or everything you said, okay? And the first person see that, that print and I send to one direction or another direction. Like we are get, getting an award permit in that way, send us in, one, in a different direction of, of the overflow, overflow persons, okay? Because the resident, the resident permanent residents and tourists goes from one way me and my family uh, see uh, the agency, uh, the work permit, uh, uh, and send us to another another path. No? Right. Right. And so what, what what happened there? Is that where the immigration stuff happened? Yes, that way. The immigration is in a, in a big office and a big uh, room like this with a lot of chairs and, 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 a, and a bar with a lot of, of persons of immigration, with a lot of agents of immigration. The agents of immigration have, an, an, it's called, it's, 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 it's dressed like a police. Right. <laughs> yeah, right? There is another, another and in that the same room is in a big, big room. There are a, a small offices, okay? When you can uh, sit down with, in front of the officer. No? Well, uh, we we stay in the queue, okay. When we pass our 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 our, our, um, our turn, <laughs> we go to, to the immigration. Everything, like you said in, in the last, is very important. Have all your documents with free access to it. No, everything directly you can bring and show up, okay. Mm -hmm. And the first thing what I did when the, I was in front of the officer and I. Miss, it wasn't a, in a girl, and I said, Miss, uh, I'm here uh, because I'm looking for something for an award permit. Uh, there are an, a Canadian company who asked me to be here, and here are the documentation what I need. The company has made it, uh, uh, created in this package of documentation with everything required. And I want, I have to explain in English, what I want is an award premium uh, through the NAFTA or Kuzma trade, okay? And the officers immediately understand what's the, my objective and what is the way what I get, okay? The, before saying that and explain, in little words, it's very important only answer what, I, what the officer asks don't do, don't, don't um, say it a lot of details because they are midnight. There's the last, the last flight. There are the, 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 the agents are very tired. So everything to go more smooth and faster can be can be helped. Um, mm -hmm. The officer asked for my contract, and obviously in the documentation, the folders is the first document. So mm -hmm. what? <laughs> I, I, I give to, to her the contract, then they ask for the confirmation letter, and is the, is the second document was, I, I, I gave it to her and was very, was very fast because every documentation is in order. No? And they uh, asked me for my passport, I bring my passport, and, uh, and then 
she read the documentation, he, he only a fast fee, uh, a fast review of the contract because the contracts are very long, but the letter he read completely, okay? Hmm. The confirmation letter work, the work letter confirmation, he read completely. The confirmation letter said, and a company, a Canadian company are requested uh, the specific worker and he started working in what fields or what, what kind, what will be the kind of activities uh, hmm. you are and feeling. Okay? I, I think the, we added that in at the end, right? Like that was one of the last documents, I think, the confirmation letter, remember? Yes, what was the last one? Yes. Yeah, so it, it's because I, I think at one point we were thinking about it, but um, because sometimes when you have the employment agreement, that's kind of all you need. But I think we realized, hey, you know, let's play it safe. Let's have a confirmation letter. So I'm glad because we did. the summary of the work. You know, yeah. The summary of the work. I think that is the key. Okay. Yeah. And they asked me for, ah, when everything, well, the officer understand, well, this man is coming for to work, but the, the company do her work. <laughs> They asked me for the of uh, the number you fill it in the RCC. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. The, 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 UCI. The, no. No, no. The the work register. Remember oh, where you oh, type from the, the employer work? portal. Yes, exactly. Right. What, what is the name of the of the of the, of the ID? I don't even was, know. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't get it. Well, it's, it's in the form, in the page three of the forms. Okay. Yeah, I think it's the employer record number, right? Exactly. That's yeah. it. Do you have an employer record? When I said I have an employer record, yes, I said I an answer. Yes, it's in the form, in the page three. I, I remember everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to open the forms. Uh, we bring, we print every form. We print the work the, the the every every form and the in the most complete form in the page three they are the registration number i show up that okay and this girl the immigration the immigration officer copy that number and type on the computer i think if you compare if if there are an a, a, a requested uh, number for uh, work or something if the record is complaining, huh? if the record was complaining. Yeah, and, and so that's 1295. So so for those who don't know, I'll just give a little more information. So on the work permit application form is what you're talking about. Page three, it talks about um, employment information. So what work you're going to be doing in Canada. And in the bottom right corner, it's a, it's a space for a number. It's typically one of two numbers, either the LMIA approval number which didn't apply in this case, or the employer of record number, which did apply in this case. Because when you're applying for an LMI exempt work permit, your employer has to go onto the government's employer portal and basically register the company and the job there. And then it spits out a number that I then gave to Andreas to have on the form. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing they take that number, they type it in, they pull up all the information I entered when I, you know, uh, filled it out, and then they compare it, and then they give you yes. the thumbs up. Yes. Did and that I take think, a while? No, it was <clears throat> very fast. It was very fast. Um, uh, the officer asked me if he had, if I had biometrics, and I said uh, we don't have biometric record, and he stand up and said, "Wait me." sit down in this table and we see you in three minutes in that place okay so my family hmm. was sitting in, in in the chairs okay and then i moved to the to, to the specific place was when a when a, when a canadian flag <laughs> <laughs> and stay waiting for the, the immigration consultant something important is you bring in all evidence of you can you are qualified to apply for our for, for the work remember we have printed our degrees of, of, of study we, uh, my master degree i have printed my my bachelor i have evidence of working with visto with the the pay leaps uh, every evidence of you are feeling the 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 work and, and the job okay 
for that is for not get an abduct of the of the immigration consultant about this person can fill this job or something like that. You have to bring every evidence. Okay, the evidence I have show up was few. Thus, the contract was the the the, um, the contract the the, the the letter the letter and the and the work uh, number no and the work record. And that, was, that it? was was enough from my case. Remember, I arrived at midnight, end of the day, mm -hmm. long days for a long day for the immigration consultant. I think was was uh, that wasn't a, a, a something to, to take care of. No? So so they didn't look at any of your degrees or anything like that. No, but hmm. you have if the if the immigrant no no I don't have to show up. Is there? It was in the in, in, in the in the folder. Okay, I don't have to show up. But for example, if in some situation the the officer get a kind of doubt, this person can fill the job. You have evidence. I have mm -hmm. the pay leaves the, for for working in the company before I arrive. So I have evidence to show up. What I uh, I'm a a person who was filling the position. May I explain? <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, and and we and we went into that in I think it was episode three or four. If if someone's just watching this now, we went into much more detail on the different documents that we provided and why. And we definitely always recommend being careful and and bringing more than what's necessary. But I remember being surprised when you told me that uh, most of them they didn't even look at. So that's a good thing, right? But. Don't yes. don't depend on that on that happening for other people. I would I would say. When I was having this, there are other persons taking uh, taking another session with another 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 uh, immigration consultant. There are persons asking for a job without showing evidence who start looking for a job. There are persons who wants to study without evidence of uh, of of uh, a registered in the school. Other 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 uh, badly situation happenings at the same time when I was there. No? Mm -hmm. uh, well, back into my my situation, I can explain it in details. Okay, I have waiting to the officer. Okay, the officer asked me for move and a and a place, and I was in front on a machine. Okay, with the officer, with, uh, and the officer asked me for okay put me in front of the machine and the machine take a photo a photograph of myself okay taking a photograph take my uh how you said uh, fingerprints the fingerprints yes mm -hmm. exactly i have taken the fingerprints okay and wasn't and the was eye enough. scan no i was didn't have an, uh, an, an eye scan okay oh, wasn't really? an old machine mm -hmm. hmm. wasn't, a, wasn't an old machine then ask for my wife to get the same fingerprints, uh, photograph, and that's it. I have to wait in the in the in the chairs. The officer come and explain, Andres, you have to pay your work permit and your wife's work permit. Okay, when when someone called you, you have to go and pay for that. You have to pay. And I have said yes. I have credit card to pay it. Okay, so we are waiting on the, in the in the chairs. The kids are tired of the fly. Uh, Monica, my wife is Monica. Uh, she was waiting. I was still very nervous because in that way we I have get nervous. I I don't understand the situation what happening right now. Everything was happened. Everything was successful, okay? Mm -hmm. But I didn't notice that yeah. <laughs> in that situation. And my wife started calm and rest, calm and rest. <laughs> that I have to explain. Uh, I have to explain to my kids this part is the most important part of the fly, okay, of the mm -hmm. travel, because this part can be if something goes wrong and we have to roll back and, uh, and call back again. Well, I was very nervous, but when I go. Uh, when I when when someone called Andres Vargas come to the place blah blah blah, okay, 
uh, I have to go to the to the in front of the. Uh, it's the wasn't a, 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 a like an a, an a bank, uh, cubicle, okay? Yeah. With a terminal and a screen and an, an officer. Andres, you have to pay your your close work permit. Was <clears throat> I think two fifty five. Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, I have to. I put my credit card, the credit that pass, then pass for the open work permit on my wife was the half of the price. Pass my credit card, everything goes, and, and the officer said, "Go back to the chair and wait for the for the for the mission consultant." Okay, and then then I pass then to the the first place when I was okay. And the officers returned me the documentation, the contract and the letter, my passport. And I have to bring before that the, the passport of my wife, of my kids. Okay. So he returned everything now, what I gave to her. And she said, Andres, this is the work permit. This is the closed work permit of your wife. This is the this is the study permit. Tempor no, temporary, temporary visa for your kids. That is important. Mm. Tempor temporary visa. But in the temporary visa at the bottom, there is an, a note, and the officers um, showed me up with the finger. Look, Andres, your, your kids are going to the school. And there's an, a big note saying that your yeah, these uh, these children, uh, Aisha, uh, Daniela, is allowed to go to the school with this documentation. Okay, so at the end they didn't receive a student permit; they received a temporary temporary visa with the note of going to the school. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't get it uh, uh, when I when I. Uh, at the beginning, because he said a temporary, he said temporary visa. I need an a, 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 a student permit. But before they sent me the, the notes, well, I feel comfortable with that, and everything was done. It mm -hmm. takes 30, 30 minutes. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's great. Was very the smooth. Last pass. Yes, that's very smooth. We got to the path. And we find someone with a, 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 a red gap holding her <laughs> hand, very tall. <laughs> yeah. And so, we, well, from 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 my from my end of the story, <clears throat> um, I was because you were set to land at around eleven thirty, and we knew it was going to take some time, but I didn't know how long it would take. Yes, um, me, me too. So I, I think I showed up at the airport around 11.45, and then I was just sitting, waiting, waiting for your messages, and then I think it was probably around maybe like 12.15, where you got you sent me a message, you're like, you know, we're, we're almost done, blah, blah, blah. So then I went, I parked the car, I went inside, and um, I, I had brought the hat that Andreas is, is wearing right now. I had it with me. And then... Um, yeah, I saw you guys walking with all your bags, the big the big trolley with the bags, and uh, yeah, I think you were surprised at how tall I was. And uh... yeah, definitely. <laughs> in, in, in Mexico, I'm tall. <laughs> I'm very tall. Well, and and what? But you are my, I look into you. <laughs> well, and for, and for the viewers that don't know, I mean, we've been working together since we've been working together since September, but we've known each other for longer than that, right? Yes. But that just meant Zoom calls, right? We've never met in person, so we didn't know, you know, who's, you know, whatever, whatever. So anyways, it was funny. And um, we got you guys in a cab uh, to your hotel. I'm, I'm thinking, Andreas, maybe we should just split this into two parts because it's uh, we're over 20 minutes already. Maybe we'll just finish this episode on how kind of the first, that first night went, and then we can do one more episode maybe next week talking about uh, really settling into the country because I think there's some good things to talk about like yes. um, finding yes. the apartment, bang, all that stuff. And I don't really want to you know go through that too quickly because I think it's pretty important. We can talk about your internet, um, all that all that fun <laughs> stuff. Yes. So what was it like lastly, Andres, to, um, well, to 
to Arrive finally in land and, yes, and, yes. and spend the first night. You have to plan your trip, your, your, your trip, no? So we're thinking arriving to, to Toronto at my night in a long fly with kids, <laughs> you have to rest. So I had booked an, 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 a reservation and hotel very near to the, to the, to the, ah, to the airport, okay? So arriving to the airport, go to and sleep and go to sleep and rest in the in the in the um, in the, ah, the hotel in the room. Hotel. Yeah. Yes, in the hotel. So that's what I have booking and a, and, a, and a day. Okay, we arrive. I have arrived to the we we taken a taxi using a cop. Okay, to the hotel. I have a check in in the hotel. I have paid with a credit card and then give us on a, on a, on a room. And well, we settle and, and start to sleep mm -hmm. and rest no? to the next day. Yeah. How was the first sleep in Canada? You guys must have felt pretty relieved. We are very tired. <laughs> the stress, you, when you when you pass immigration, the stress goes and falls. When mm -hmm. you stay more relaxed, you get start feeling the pain, everything by the stress. Uh, but it wasn't a good night. It was very cold, mm -hmm. less, yes, it's more 10 degrees, one, two, three degrees, okay? Was the cold for fish time, For was feeling the cold for fish time, okay? Wear a good dress with a lot of, 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 of jackets, so that was good. <laughs> um, we sleep very good. We mm -hmm. sleep very good. Um, the few things is, uh, I, I, I did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Everything good, smooth. Everything good was good. <laughs> yeah, the, the immigration went very smooth and, and pretty quick. So was very glad to hear that. Awesome. Any last thoughts, Andreas, or tips for uh, someone who might be applying at the border or someone who might be making their making their flight I, in for the first time? I think the key was bring everything you need to complain the rules. Okay, you need to know, to understand the rules. For an award permit, you sh you have to show up the evidence, or you can apply. It. You are complaining to the award permit. If you are a study. You Com want to complying, yeah. Complaining, yeah. Today you are, then you have the documentation because you are in a study. Okay. Obviously, if you lie, the lie will be show up. Okay, and it will be punished for that liar. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, it's good to have you here, Andreas. Thanks for uh, thanks for sharing your story. And uh, that was episode six. So I think what we'll do is. We'll do another episode maybe next week and we'll talk about um, settling in Canada, finding his first apartment, internet, SIN number, all that fun stuff. And uh, we'll take it from there. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Josh. Awesome. Thanks, Andreas. Thank you for listening. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.